What's going on, Raider Nation? Looks like the Raiders this week are playing the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Did you know that the word Buccaneer actually derives from the French word boucan, which was a method for stranded sailors on an island to smoke meat to preserve it. So technically, you're not the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. You are the Tampa Bay Meat Smokers. What the hell was that? Okay, that was kind of a weird fact, but anyways, I guess we're going to call them the Meat Smokers. So I actually looked that up, and that's true. That is a true fact. Anyways, uh, Tampa Bay, a team that actually has been under the radar the last few uh, games, and they've been actually playing respectable football. Uh, it's going to be a tougher game than we all thought. Like two weeks ago, I, th I think a lot of people thought this was going to be an easy win or a simple win, but the Buccaneers, uh, as of late, have been playing good football, I think, especially on offense. Uh, their defense, I think their defense is good in terms of stopping the run. They should have, they have a good front seven. Secondary, to me, is kind of flawed. They can give up the, play, the big plays. So I expect our receivers to hopefully run better routes or good routes and not miscommunicate with Palmer. Uh, there's going to need to be decent passing to set up the run. Uh, but it sounds like the running defense is their strength. Uh, which brings me to the point, of course, of our offensive line. We're still having trouble running the ball, and it's embarrassing because we know that this offensive line, with the exception of Bryzel being the only different guy, the the offensive line has blocked well for McFadden in, in previous years. But the zone blocking scheme is just screwing up some of these players. I mean, it makes you wonder: Are you going to switch back to power scheme, or do you just? just turn over the players and find people meant for the zone blocking scheme. It's just, the zone blocking scheme's really hurting us and just run, just running the ball because we can't. You see McFadden getting two or three yard games, he's running right into a brick wall. It's horrible. So going on to this game, yeah, I don't know about running the ball, but if we're going to pass the ball, we got to be smart and efficient. If we want to get the ball to McFadden, we can always pass those short Short routes, but not screens. Don't do a predictable screen. I don't want to see any more of those second down run plays where we're in the shotgun and we just do an inside handoff. They just don't work anymore. Uh, in terms of offense on the Bucks, they've been playing well, as I've said before. Their offense, they're averaging about 30 points a game in their, the last three games they've played. I know their record is only 3-4 and four like us, but don't be fooled. Their, their offense has played well recently, and to me that's all that matters is the last three weeks. Uh, Doug Martin, their first-round pick running back, he's been emerging the last three weeks. He's been coming on, and uh, he's been panning out so far for a first-round pick. He's looking good. Uh, they're probably going to give the ball to him most of the time, but they also have a good passing balance as well. Uh, Martin was used effectively in a screen play, and it ran for a touchdown against the Vikings last week on Thursday. Uh, so Martin, definitely got to stop him. If we play the way we did at stopping the run the last few weeks, we can stop him as well. Uh, and you never know, the Bucks, we don't, they've, they've definitely paid a lot for an offensive lineman and, and also a former AFC West foe, Vincent Jackson, the wide receiver. Him and Mike Williams have been a pretty good tandem, uh, one-two punch and receiving, so got to look out for them uh, and coverage. We'll see how good our secondary really is because we haven't. We did see good receivers for the Falcons a few weeks ago. Uh, we've seen some kind of low quality receivers the last two weeks, but now Vincent Jackson comes back to Oakland, and then we see Mike Williams alongside him. Uh, Josh Freeman, their first round pick a few years ago, under a previous coach, uh, has been playing pretty well. Uh, I guess uh, the Bucks season just depends on him because you know, he played well two years ago. Last year he kind of fell off. This year he's playing well again, and uh, he's efficient. Whatever they're doing, he's making good decisions. He's not throwing interceptions. Uh, it's going to be tough. This is going to be a very, very tough game, and we'll see how good our defense is or not. But offensively, we got to be able to block better. We just Our blocking is not good. Uh, we, as I said before, last week we only scored 16 points on the Chiefs on offense, in my opinion, just because the turnover is otherwise set up the points. Uh, yeah, pretty much the play calling again by Nav can't be predictable. I'm tired of that. And as we all know, Palmer has done better when he's calling audibles. So, uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think about this game. Tampa Bay. Tampa Bay is going to be the tougher, tougher opponent than I thought they'd be from a few weeks ago. But you just can't underestimate these guys.
And I know everyone brings up, of course, the Super Bowl 10 years ago, but at the same time, just remember who's the one that got John Gruden fired. It was the Raiders in Week 17. Just remember that. It's amazing that he started great, but then ended horribly. And uh, At least against the Raiders, uh, they, they beat him four years ago. And if you're a Philadelphia Eagles fan, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, quickly, bef there really isn't a whole lot to say about this game other than what I just said, some players to look out for. Uh, but I want to just take this brief attention on voting. Uh, election, of course, coming in about a week. I'm just saying, if, you have, if you're a registered voter, please vote. I, you, you, you have that right, you use it. I encourage you guys to be voting. I'm not going to talk about endorsing a candidate. Uh, the only thing I'm going to openly talk about is Proposition 35 to say yes. If you're in California, uh, vote yes on 35. That's, that's a thing I stand very firm against is human trafficking. And I think that uh, if you're in California, I'd, I encourage you to vote yes on 35 because I'm tired of seeing people not getting penalized for some really horrible actions. So that's the only thing I'm openly going to endorse there. Just make sure you vote. Uh, otherwise, around the nation, whatever which way you're going, just, just use that right that you have in voting. So next week. Otherwise, let me know what you guys think about this game. We'll see you guys later. Go Raiders.